Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, Burning Dog fans. We're here in what appears to be a sewer. After using the Abydos amulet on the, uh, the portal platform back there. Well, not that one, but one just like it. <laughs> if you're going to be pedantic about it. So, maybe, I don't, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think this is a sewer because the water is far too clean. I think this is an aqueduct. In which case, I will get out of the water with my dirty feet. Unless I have to. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, sorry, everyone. <clears throat> Just give it, you know, a few hours before you drink it. Anyway. Come in. That's like some guy's house, and it's really awkward, and I get arrested, and... I wonder if the edge of the map was meant to be that clearly defined. Oh! Forgot those were signs. Swimming prohibited. Warning. All water surrounding the city of Abydos has been electrified. What?! Please keep out of the water? Criminy! Uh, hey there. Well, well, a stranger. I would so like to know how you arrived here. Dear me, there is no ship on that side, and only an imbecile would try to swim through electrified water. Abydos was a quintessential prosperous and peaceful city until those electric eels came along. Okay, it wasn't intentional. Nobody knows where they came from, but they are lowering the tone of the city beyond words. I was just gonna say, there's like fishing boats and shit out there. I kinda wanna go down there and see if I can steal the boat, but uh. It's an original Xbox game, which means the odds of that aren't amazing. That is A, okay, just checking. Double save. So I don't want to, like, strand myself on that platform. You know what? I did just save. What does this say? Abydos Plaza. Oh, God. Ah! You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and... You know, I realized I forgot to do something very important last time. I was tempting fate. And so, I am going to do my absolute best to avoid the game-breaking bug in this game, just in case it uh, still does exist. And hopefully, we won't have to deal with it. Knock on wood. There. Just checking. I'm going to wait till he puts that away so I don't look like a crazy person running around with a glowing weapon. There we go. Hmm. This juggling guy is brilliant, isn't he? Bit crazy, but brilliant nonetheless. My sister would love to see this. <laughs> Don't distract me, you made me drop the balls. That seems perfectly sane to me. And I like... Eh, fuck it. Oh. The green scarab is worth more than the gold scarabs. So does that mean the green scarabs are made of emeralds, or that gold scarabs just refer to its color? Corridor of Champions. Somersault over two meters to compete. I can't somersault at all, so I guess I don't need to bother. Oh, I can open this. No, I cannot. Go away, I'm busy! <laughs> Abydos Museum, donations wanted. 
You're a very large man. Is that just a crow noise? Sorry, but I can't allow you to enter into the museum until the grand unveiling of the Abydos Jewel Collection is ready. Oh, sorry, Mr. Crow. I'll just be on my way. Please come back later, sir. That seems perfectly reasonable. So far we've encountered one, two, three, four, five people here, and three of them are birds. I mean, I'm assuming that the door that didn't want to open was a bird. Maybe I should have read that sign. In fact, that is what exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump in completely blind. Yeah, yeah, this is the uh, the place. Maybe he's going to tell me how to somersault. It does kind of bug me that they pull the door. He pulls the doors open instead of pushing them, but they still don't have any handles. I mean, none of the doors in. Uh... Ooh. Oh, you're not a bird. Actually, no, I don't remember which game I was thinking of. It was in, like, an N64 era game where the doors all just slid upwards, so it didn't matter that they didn't have, uh, handles. Welcome to the Corridor of Champions. Here, true heroes can test their abilities. You to piss yourself again. Pit. Pit yourself against our gauntlet. Ye no. Fine. I've wasted all this time running around and opening doors and loading screens. A brave and noble choice. However, before you can proceed, you must complete a small test. I turn that diamond behind the fence to me within 20 seconds, and you will have proven yourself capable of the conflict. Uh oh. Yeah, no, I can't do it. I can't double jump or anything. All right, fine, I'm out. It is quite clear that you are not ready to face the gauntlet. Return when you have gained the skill to retrieve the diamond. I don't see how somersaulting is going to get me in there. I don't know, does that have regional names, or I'm from somersaulting as rolling on the ground? You know, like, head over... Heel, or heels overhead, rather. Can I crouch? No, that's not that what that button does in this game. Get back here! Oh, good. Now I have to hit them all. I didn't know there was money in there. I just wanted to hit it. Oh, yes, I have been here. <laughs> oh, dive. You found an old key. Oh, okay. Oh, I always wanted to do this. And uh, nope. You cannot climb up the wrong side of a ladder. You know, I don't quite remember exactly what it was. But I do seem to recall that in the N64 Zelda games, there was some graphical thing on the uh, on the ladder, so it made it look. It, you could look at it and go, "Oh, that's why I can't climb behind." 
because they had like reinforcements on the back or something. Even when they weren't up against a wall, I mean. You found an Abydosian pearl. I can see it. Beautiful, rare pearls only found in Abydos. I don't know how I'm getting out. Oh, that's how. What's it say about the old key, anyway? An old key! Fair enough. That was the wrong way. I don't know. Can I get down there? I remember the first game that let me actually climb up the wrong side of a ladder. It might have been, uh... Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube. You don't want the pearls. Hmm. Okay, you don't have anything new to say. Hmm. What if I do it twice in a row while in the same loading instance? Oh, I think the mayor should give this man a job as official entertainer. I wish my sister were here to see him. Hmm. Understand the people who give monsters to the museum receive zipline handles so they can use the Abydos ziplines. I didn't need one in the first area. Not from around here, are you? Usually Abydos is a lot busier than us, the monsters and electrified water have gotten people scared. I can understand that! Mm. I wonder what this electrified water on wild monsters appearing means. Hmm. Mm. Okay, looped around. What if I just keep bothering you? <laughs> I guess I do make noises, I didn't really notice that. I guess I just don't do it in story sequences. Stop distracting me, I tend to drop the balls if anyone talks to me. <laughs> okay, fine. He only has the two things to say. Uh, what about bird friend over here? Oh! Some people just appeared. Oh dear. <laughs> My wife is gonna kill me if she finds out I lost her pearl necklace. She's found to notice this new one I bought has three missing. See, so if you come across any Abydosian pearls, let me know. Mm. What's going on with all these monsters and electrified water? Do you think we're under attack? Abydos is a peaceful city. Mm. When will the mayor do something with the monsters and electrified water? Surely you could just catch the electric eels in nets. I'm just trying to think about the uh, hmm, wooden spears to get them out of the water, maybe. Oops. Mm. Business is pretty bad these days. Everyone's just too scared. Mm. What's going on? To all these monsters you like to ride water? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you found an Abydosian pearl. Thanks. There's two more, and I'll be safe. He doesn't want it, but... Alright, back to Bird Friend, who is over here. Oh, that draw distance. Hello. I didn't realize you were making that noise. Jars contain some interesting things sometimes. That's it. That's all you have to say. 
Well, I have accomplished things, so uh, there's a save. Just making sure. neat and all, I'm just not sure what I meant to do, since there's nothing left for me to smash in order to find those Abidosian pearls. Aha! How has it taken me this long to see a pyramid in this game? Excuse me, good friend. I'm sorry, I can't let you into the museum, sir. Please, sir, I've already told you you're not allowed in. Come back later in the grand unveiling of the jewel exhibit is ready. He's just doing his job. Okay, I'll check the sewers again. Okay, so you just point where you want him to swim with a stick and then just hit A to move forward. Odd one. Hold X to, uh... Hmm, I think it died in the water. Oh no, there it is! Aw, oh, the bug drowned. Oh, my money died. All right, just checking. Okay, so I think I can go back to, uh... Yeah, I still have a mysterious amulet, so I can go back to that, uh... Well, wherever the hell I just was, the ritual area. But the write-up explicitly says that those, uh... Pearls are only found in Abydos. I am missing something. Just do this three times? Is that what you're saying? Give it. Nope, it's money this time. Yep. Shit. Hmm. I bet there's one over... no, no, I need the fucking zip line to get over there. Oh no, I can't break you. 
Okay, ladders or something. Raking in the dough, which I cannot spend on anything. And he doesn't give a shit. Of course, that guy's super wasted, so, you know. Assuming this window is just painted on. Oh, why hello there. Is that a lever? No, it's a... I wouldn't call it a zip line because it doesn't actually go up or down. It's just a line. Shit, and there's the timer. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy when we figure out what our next move is. Later!